You know, this is the contribution of Africa into mathematics and stuff like that. To just show like Africa like it's truly like you know the cradle of humanity. Et ici, nous allons vous montrer certaines statuettes qui sont faites à base de terre cuite. This statue that you see is made by a burn, burn, burn. Donc là, c'est pour vous montrer que quand on dit que l'Afrique n'a pas d'histoire, l'Afrique n'a pas de civilisation, c'est pour montrer que l'Afrique avait eh bien une, euh, une histoire parce que là, comme vous le voyez, même s'il n'écrivait pas, il faisait des représentations. When they say people say like Africa didn't have history, it's just like they say so. If you look at that, you know, people have been doing like something that have given like a meaning and a representation already during that time. Et ça, ce sont des statuettes qui représentent, voilà, des, des noms, parce que quand vous voyez ici, le tout était couvert de bisous. And if you look at it, those are people that represent like, you know, the nobility of Africa, because around their night, you see, everything is jewelry. Ces bisous sont si de richesse mm -hmm. en Afrique. And that was like, you know, something like very wealthy. Et Là aussi, il faisait des représentations. Ça, ce sont des statues qu'on appelle des tableaux. Et c'est des statues avec des gens comme horsemen. Donc là aussi, il faisait des pratiques autour des céramiques. Il faisait des dessins autour des céramiques pour montrer qu'il connaissait l'aspect du beau. Et ils faisaient aussi des jobs, des jobs très représentatifs, des jobs qu'ils ont des designs et tout ça. C'est pour montrer aussi que l'Afrique a des gens qui ont 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 des gens Yeah, that's what we mean, even like art has been invented, uh, art been discovered by Africa. And ici, on va parler de l'architecture. And this is about architecture. Ça, ce sont les premières formes de maisons qu'on va retrouver en haute Egypte. And this is the old shapes of houses. Et là, ils ont commencé à construire des tombes pour montrer qu'ils ont commencé à vivre en communauté, mais aussi à s'occuper de leur mort. And from here, what you see, these are tombstones, and they even like represent that Africa have been living in community long ago. And you can read, like, this is 300 years before Christ, 3300 before Christ. Et là, l'architecture va évoluer. Donc, ils vont commencer. Ils vont commencer à construire des pyramides. Ça, c'est la pyramide la plus répandue, qu'on appelle la pyramide de, de Théos. And this is the most known pyramid, Théos. Et ici, ils vont commencer à, des, à dessiner tout en utilisant des tarots, soit pour agrandir le dessin, soit pour le dessin. And, and that's how they start by start design, you know, with some tiles. Donc là, nous allons parler aussi. Donc ici, j'ai entendu pas démontrer aussi de l'ancien Égypte. Tu n'as pas parlé de l'émotion. Oui. Je veux dire, ils ont des mesures. Oui. Je vais vous parler de ça. Vous avez une fingre, trois pommes et un arme. Ils utilisent ces mesures pour faire un vote. Tu vois, c'est ce qu'ils ont utilisé pour construire. Just to to for building, so they had sciences and architecture. Ah, okay. that's what they used. Mm. Answer. C'est bon. Voilà. Ah, tu veux des traductions? Voilà. Et là, c'est pour vous montrer aussi que l'ancien Égypte était noire. Voilà, parce que il y a des textes qui soutiennent que l'ancien Égypte était blanc. Ou c'est des Asiatiques qui ont développé ces grandes civilisations. Que vous entendez. Mais cher Anta Diop a démontré que ces grandes civilisations ont été développées par les Noirs, tout en démontrant les similitudes culturelles qui existaient entre eux. Mm -hmm. Ok. Il dit que les gens disent que l'Ancient Egypt était noir. Mais cher Anta Diop, qui est un Sénégalais professeur, il a démontré que l'Ancient Egypt était noir. Et il a comparé. Uh, that those that ancient Egypt civilization with ours, and uh, <coughs> that's why he is comparing. You see the way they made a mask in in my in my. Voilà, c'est les mêmes pyramides qu'on va retrouver en Afrique. The same pyramids that you find in in Africa, the Donc, caps and the mask. Et les mêmes rituels aussi qu'on va trouver en Afrique, on va le retrouver en Egypte antique. Okay, and the same rites uh, rituals mm -hmm. uh, we found. We find they are in Africa nowadays, in our countries, but we find them in ancient Egypt. Because the ancient Egyptians were serving the pyramids to enter their pharaohs, 
Et c'est la même chose qu'en Afrique, ils se servaient des pyramides pour enterrer le, le roi. Hein? Ok. In ancient Egypt, they used to use, uh, they used to use the um, pyramids to to bury. That was the um, the the thumb of the the, the pharaohs. And in Africa, we used to use the kings were, were buried in. Um, and kings were buried. And, and this is in Nigeria. The king is dead. You know, they they buried him sitting on the, his throne. Okay. You know, um, the, the, the architecture of this museum is copied from uh, an ancient architecture, uh, 1600 years after Jesus. Uh, after Jesus, you know, here you have the, the, the world had six to nine meters. You know, it's from 1,100 years to 1,600 after Jesus, like from the 11th century to the 16th century. <clears throat> so they copied that architecture, inspired them to make this museum, mm -hmm. as black museum. So we have, uh, so you see, you have the same architecture <coughs> actors throughout Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we're talking about architecture here. Do you have, you see, mass and fosters, cities, see, and uh, the, the, um, the Sudanese, and this is a uh, and uh, this is um, a, a church in Ethiopia. 500 years after Christ, after Jesus. It is from the Mesut Tep. Yes, sir. From the Mesut Tep. No, okay. It's buried. Ah, okay. They 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 put it underground. They put it underground. This 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 church. Okay. Okay. You see, this kind of architecture is found in uh, Athena, Athena, in um, uh, Rome, and uh, yes. it's copied from African architecture that is 500 years older. Hmm? 500 years older. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Oh, they, they get inspired. So they, they use the same uh, knowledge, the same sciences, to make the same architecture. And this is African one, and this is European one. Okay. This one is older. Okay, so see, it's a third dynasty in seven. 2,790 before Christ, before Jesus. Mm -hmm. so, almost 300 years before Jesus, we were having this. And they, that inspired the Europeans to make this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, the starting point of mathematics. Just to tell that mathematics are born in Africa. Okay, they, 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 they found these two um, bones. They call bones of Ishango. In Congo. You have, you have, you have tribes uh, graduation on this on the on the uh, on the spot, on the bones. And you know, they were telling measurements and uh, uh, measurements 
and calculations on base of these of this, uh, um, graduations. So you have, so you have two, um, 20 centimeters and you have it, you know, all the graduations telling how long would it be. And it's it's there 25 years before, 25,000 years before Jesus. Mm. <laughs> 25,000 years before Jesus, we were, we were um, calculating, you know, um, um, knowing the distance between things, measuring with those uh, kind of, I mean, these bones tell that we started doing it 25 years, 25,000 years before Jesus. African people were measuring and calculating, and this is a proof of it. Mm -hmm. Nous avons essayé de comparer les objets qu'on retrouve à l'Égypte et les chiffres mathématiques. Mm -hmm. Et ici, nous avons essayé de comparer ce qu'on appelle le A1 et le chiffre 1. Donc, mm -hmm. c'est pour vous montrer que l'Égyptien s'est inspiré du A1 pour inventer le 1 qu'on appelle le Wa en langue égyptienne. Mm -hmm. He said that uh, in Egypt, they used um, the, the, the hook you know, to, uh, to write a 1. And it means Wa in Egyptian. And uh, when you see the the the, um, the, 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 the book, book and then the hieroglyphs, they they know that it's a one, and they use different kind of signs and on the base of the harpoon and other um, tools to write down. Also, they made a um, they, they made a drawing, say that would tell everything had a meaning. And, um, this the hook is one. Okay, he said that um, that the base of architecture and mathematics. You, you know that is a triangle, mm -hmm. and uh, we know. I mean, we've been taught that Thales and Pythagoras were taught, you know Thales and Pythagoras mm -hmm. were the uh, the base of uh, geometry. Mm -hmm. But uh, the ancient Egyptians was you were using these uh, uh, triangles mm -hmm. to to uh, to build their the architectures and mathematics. So this is what they found. And they said uh, in 1650 that uh, before Christ that they found it. Mm -hmm. And geometry. And how long, how long ago was that before uh, uh, my man, what's his name? Pythagoras. Before? How long ago before Pythagoras? Pythagoras, uh, um, this is, I don't know why it's Pythagoras. I would think it's. it's Com, uh, c'est combien d'années avant Pythagoras? C'est combien d'années avant Pythagoras? Oui, c'est vrai. 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 Okay. <coughs> to get the degrees to go to Europe, to go back to Rome. And we know that if the ancient Egyptians also used this method, they could not also transfer the pyramid. For the pyramid to be constructed, you have to have the scientific mm -hmm. Okay, he said that uh, if they, they didn't have this uh, this um, this mathematical base, they the Egyptians could yeah. could build those pyramids. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Questions? Et ici, c'est pour montrer aussi qu'il maîtrise les chiffres mathématiques, les chiffres pairs. Et on va prendre juste l'exemple de cette opération 19 fois 27. Et si c'est nous aujourd'hui, on va le faire directement, mais eux, ils faisaient des décompositions. Ils vont prendre d'abord le 27 multiplié par 2, ça fait 54 multiplié par 2, ça fait 108, etc. Et ensuite, ils vont additionner pour trouver le nombre 513. Mm -hmm. It's the same method here. Mm -hmm. Say that uh, to check that uh, Egyptians have was masters of uh, mathematics. Uh, we're going to get an example. Is it 19 times 27? 
You can do it right now. But you now they, they just split it. You know, 27 times 1 is 27. Uh, and times 2 is 54. Times 4 is 108. Uh, times 8 is 216. Times 16 is 432. And, and if you plus, if you um, add all of them, you're going to have 513. That's the way they make the calculations. I said that the the she had to deal with it. I mean, that the one who is a guy who made uh, uh, carbon 14 mm -hmm. to, to, to date um, things they, they excavate. And uh, he made a comparison between local languages, our languages nowadays, and uh, the ancient Egyptian languages. And what the one he used is Mamit B. Mamit means um, his, uh, him too. You know what I mean? And that's the meaning of it. So you see, Sirila Pussy. Got it. So, that, that's the uh, Mamit B, Mamit B. So they use the same words in here than over there. So, Mamit B, Mamit B. So that's, and, uh, and I do something else that, uh, for instance, in ancient Egypt, in their, their theology, they say uh, Tafnit. Tafnit means the first uh, split that God made to, to create. And Tafnit means in what that you split. So it's very close to each other. So that this is an American magic, huh? Uh, magic uh, squares. So you have seven, uh, nine of them. At each, um, each um, how can I say, it? circle in your name has it. Um, um, how can I say, it? And it has a value. So if they add it, they split it in this, in this, uh, in the squares. They can tell you that your future. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So reading the coins, reading the, the future, telling like how do you do that with the cards? Yeah, they that's, yeah, that's the same thing. African people use this to tell you what's going, what's going to happen to you in that period of while. It's about uh, medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, they said that uh, in the in the body of the um, the, the mummies, the mummy, um, the flowers that they buried, they found tetracycline. Tetracycline is a kind of um, antibiotic, meaning that people at that time, black people knew that antibiotic was good for your health. So they used to use they used to use it to, to cure certain diseases. Okay. So uh, you can read on the the face of this flower that they were black and they used to uh, use um makeup and, and to, 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 to make to make their if it's uh to, before coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm. That's uh, he said that very early they met caesarean, you know what? I mean, making an um, sur um, surgery, surgery. To, to get the baby up. 
they start, they, they were doing it in Uganda. They, yes, to Syria, huh? Yeah. And uh, here, this is uh, me, um, walking medicine. So you see, this is a doctor checking the workers. And they used to use prosthesis. You see, this is the prosthesis for uh, somebody's um, toe. Okay, saying that uh, you know whatever you did, um, medicine in Africa was linked with uh, prayer. Prayer. When you were doing something, any surgery on somebody, they're doing the surgery, but this one is praying and his feet on your feet. So you see, they're doing the um, the surgery to get the baby out, but this one was praying so, so that they they make it. So that's, we have so physical and metaphysical uh, inter, um, uh, was inter, interfering to each other. They said that uh, they were mummifying, that's the right word, they were mummifying the, 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 the dead uh, followers. And uh, they mummified the dead followers, they had to prepare him to, 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 to uh, meet the God of, uh, uh, in the year after. What was this? Huh? Osiris. Osiris. Okay, Osiris. Because he's the god, the god of the hereafter. And you have the god, can you Anubis. Anubis. was the god who used to prepare the body to take him to, to the, uh, the god of the hereafter. And he was Animus. And Animus was a god who taught them how to mummify. And because of those mummies, we, can, we discovered, we found some melanin in their body, and we knew that they were black. So that's it, family. This section we just covered is African contributions to medicine, mathematics, and architectural. Uh, so it's you know there's no debate in the situation. And we're at the Black Civilization Museum here in Dakar, Senegal.